Hey folks, Eric the Old Jarhead here. I decided to have some fun today. Can I mill up just shy of 280 board feet in just over 20 minutes? No, no, no. Let's find out. This log was 16 and a half feet long and it measured about oh, between 18 and 20 inches in the, uh, at the small end. So I'm gonna call it 19 inch diameter log, 260 board feet international quarter scale. Let's see what we can do. Of course, you know, you, you get the log on the deck, you gotta take that cap cut off, and you know, then, uh, man, I tell you, the wind had shifted direction on me, and I was just eating bark sawdust. Holy smokes. This is a day I wish I had my respirator on. I didn't bring it with me, and so I was just sucking down the sawdust. And you know, sometimes you'll see me kind of ducking away a little bit, trying to keep my head and eyes out of the, out of the sawdust. And, this trip was just a comedy of errors, right? I mean, I didn't even have my safety glasses with me. First big job of the year, and uh, I just, uh, you know, you just don't always remember to grab everything. By the, by the time you're deep into the year, it's all wrote and you're all good to go, but uh, that first job of the year always seems to be something you forget. All right, got the cap cut done. Now we're gonna drop a flitch cut off. Uh, this flitch cut was about 10 inches wide on average. Um, wider on one end and smaller on the other, but we're gonna call it a one by 10 by 16 and a half, which is 13.75 board feet. Look at that dust drop off that thing. All right, slam her into the side supports, get her nice and tight, run her down, get cap cut. eating sawdust all the way. Gotta love it, right? Those off pairs are awesome, aren't they? They just jump right in there, get ready to pull that slab. You just can't beat that. Of course, they had the room. I mean, some jobs you don't have the room. These guys have plenty of room to be able to get in there and, and pull slabs and move things around. All right, cap cut's done. I took it kind of deep. I knew the customer really wasn't that interested in a whole lot of, of uh, one-inch flitches anymore. They have plenty of one-bys. I milled over 450 one by eights for them, as you've seen in other videos. So didn't really need to spend much time uh, messing around, trying to eke out a little bit more one-bys. They didn't want it. So we rolled that sucker 90 degrees. We got our two nice faces, nice and perpendicular to one another, and boom, go down, take another cap cut. We're not even four minutes into this video and I'm getting down towards the camp. I think in a previous video I said something about a minute or a minute and a half to a camp. You know, <laughs> I have done that, but actually you're more like about three minutes on an eight foot camp. Big 16 plus footers though, it's gonna take you a little longer, but there we go. We're gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna take a two inch cut out of this guy here, live edge. We'll come back and edge it later. It'll be a two by 12. And that bumblebee right there, I think he liked the sugars in the sap. He just came in there and I picked him up and moved him away. Figured maybe he was stuck. 
All right, get that log rolled over, got that done. We're gonna have to cut that second two by 12. And again, these are just live edge. Uh, we can cut those down, edge them on the mill down later and make them into two by 12s or two by sixes, you know, whatever the customer wants. Eating sawdust, <laughs> the life of a sawyer. Sawdust gets everywhere, right? It's in your ears, in your eyes. It goes places it's not supposed to go. This guy decided to come back and get more. I swear, I picked him up and put him away, but he decided to come back, so I think maybe he's the mascot for the day. It's tough. We did finally convince him to go somewhere else so I didn't step on him. All right, that cap cut's done. Now we gotta get this uh, second two by flitch cut out of the way. You know, we're six minutes into the video. It's a little more than six minutes into the log, I'll tell you. Obviously, with some of the edits here and there, I'm losing a few seconds, so that's all right. Doing pretty good. All right, there you go. That's that second two by flitch cut. Now what we got to do is split this sucker. Got to do a little positioning here. Now it's really funny. Can I get 290 board feet in less than half an hour while I'm dinking around cleaning off the bunks? But you know, the truth of the matter is when you're milling, you got to keep those bunks clean. Otherwise, you're not going to get nice flat cuts, right? So we go ahead, we'll clean, we'll lift her up. Gotta love hydraulics. Clean the bunks off. Make sure there's no bark in the way. Drop her back down. Then we can split this can. Now this stuff's all for some uh, trailer decking, I think. A customer wasn't really concerned about uh, much other than he wanted full dimension 2x6s out of it. So we'll get that. Now, one thing you'll see here, really interesting, um, once I get in splitting this cant, it actually kind of popped on me a bit. Um, you know, when that happens, not much you can do about it at that point. Uh, you know, if it, if it lifts a little bit, releases a bit of stress, you're going to have some frown. Um, not much you can do about it. Not at this point. Anyway. Not unless you want to split it one more time and try to go the other way. He just said, let's go ahead, let's rock and roll, let's get her done. So we'll flip her over, and now we got two six inch cans side by side, and we're milling. Now we had a bit of a jump there, had my wife in the way, so I kind of cut that part out. Didn't figure you wanted to look at her back. She's not wearing yoga pants, so you know. <laughs> All right, let's speed this guy up a little bit here. This is gonna take it too long, right? We're already uh, eight minutes into this thing, but you know, we're talking almost 300 board feet. You're not gonna get that done in you know five or six minutes i'm sorry now i did flip these cans one more time uh it, it's a stress thing right if i see a little bit of stress moving around things or if i've got some weighing on the bottom side of the cans and i want to make sure i can clamp that that uh, log clamp all the way down low about half inch off the deck i'll flip them over one more time and then we'll get rocking and rolling get water adjusted let's go let's go can we do it? Let's see. Let's sit back and watch a little bit. See what happens. Uh-oh. Tighten up the band. Oh, no. Now we're in trouble. I got to change a band. Can I change the band and still get about 290 board feet in 23 minutes? Stand by. Let's see. Come on. Get her done. Sometimes these bands just mess with you. Pull that wheel out. Crank the pressure up. Get up to 3,000 pounds. You're gonna have to run the band a couple of times, maybe more first time you always check make sure your your band is sitting properly on the wheels put the covers back on uh, I'm running out of time aren't I I'm not gonna make it well, 
we weren't quite 10 minutes into this video yet. Now we did speed it up quite a bit there in the middle, so we're, we're really getting close to 20 minutes now. But we're splitting it. Oh, that's the last cut right there, folks. I measured this at 278 board feet, give or take. You know, you got a live edge in there. There you have it, 278 board feet. Took me just over 20 minutes. Wow, that'd be 556 board feet in an hour with time to spare. That's on a standard Woodmiser LT40 hydraulic with a 26 horse motor, rocking. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We'll draw our head out. You're dirty.